Hello everyone. Welcome to 2 Minutes Tuesday with Bala. This week we are going to look into how do we secure the Azure Function apps. Um, let's get started. The first one we are looking into is the configuration. So once you get into the configuration, uh, you would see the connection strings available here. Um, so a lot of times you will have the connection strings to be secured either in the application settings level or you need to keep that in the key vault and then eventually use that in, inside your function app. So moving on to the general settings, there are a few things you can notice here. Uh, the FTP state, this can be uh, set to FTTPS only. And then you can do the basic authentication. By default, the basic authentication is turned on. So you could use that. And then the next step would be the HTTPS only. So this has to be turned on by default. And then you set your minimum TLS version to be 1.2. So if you go further down, uh, you would see that there is a remote debugging. You can turn it off if it is in production state. And if you're doing some debugging, really want to test something, then you can turn it on when it's needed. The last one is the incoming certificates. So incoming certificates at the moment is set to ignore. Since this is like a pay by uh, go plan, it's not like a, it's more like a consumption plan. But if you're in a premium plan, you can turn it on and then you can also have like a client side uh, authentication that you can use. Moving on to the next section, you will have authentication. Right now, I'll just discard. Uh, in this one, you can have authenticated uh, function app calls. So when you click on add identity provider, this gives you a lot of options here. So if you expand, you will see Microsoft, Apple, it will redirect to Google, you authenticate that, and then you can you know consume the function app. So if for unauthenticated users, you can do these things. So typically you would recommend like to do like a 401 unauthorized. The next major thing is uh, networking. This is uh, very important when you deal with uh, uh, the network security once you open that. So there are a lot of limitations when you are in a consumption based plans to be aware. So if you, you have to be in the premium plan if you're really doing this uh, access restrictions using the networking. So the first one you see this, the access restriction is turned off at the moment, but you can turn it on. Basically you're saying like you can have certain rules defined at the moment it is allowing everything but you can just say like you want to allow or deny a specific IP address or a specific subnet or like you can do things like that. And then you can also set up a priority so that the priority wise it will go through the rules and like going back here at the moment it has an inbound IP address, but a lot of things you can see the domains are mentioned here, the VNet integration. So you don't want the function apps to be available for everybody to use. A lot of times you do a VNet integration so that way your uh, storage accounts or anything that the Azure function app is going to use like the database and everything, they stay put into a particular VNet integration. And then you can have like a fire um, Azure uh, front door or something or a firewall that could allow only access through that. This covers pretty much uh, the basic uh, uh, security that you can enable at the function apps. See you next week with another topic. Thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe and support the channel. Thank you.